In this video, I'm going to show you how to get floating point unit values from user and how to display it. Okay, so for that, I'm going to use rail4. So my var rail4, I don't know the value, so it's going to be question mark. And then I'm going to have a prompt. Please enter a value. And then inside of my code, I first move edx offset prompt and then call write string so I can display my message. And after that, I say call read float. So it's going to read the value that the user enters. And then uh, this is FSTP. What it does, um, it stores the floating point unit and the P at the end of it means pop. So that means it's going to come off of the stack. Because as we said before in the previous tutorial, for the floating point units, they are not going to EAX. They are going to floating point unit FPU stack. And they're going to stay on the stack unless you pop them from the stack. So FSTP will store in will store it inside of my war and that p at the end of it will pop it from the um from the floating point unit stack and it's not going to be on the stack anymore so then if i want to display it again fld i will put it on the stack again i will push the number on the stack my war fld my var i will push it on the stack again and i call write float and it's going to display so now let's see okay i forgot to um, say the type of prompt is going to be a d word so now we build it again oh Sorry, it's going to be byte. It says please enter a value. I'm going to put 1.6 and it's going to display 1.6 here. <laughs> 